Hey, what's up guys? Jersey Joel Fishing here. Today is December 6, 2020. It's going to be cold over the next week. Very, very cold. You know, winter's coming in here fast and furious now that we're in December. And uh, going to get the Christmas tree this weekend and try and do some fishing. You know, it's going to be very cold. It's going to be windy. Not sure how the bite's going to be. You know, I might try the river. I might try my local pond. And we'll see. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, I just casted a half a piece of night crawler out there with a bobber. And let me try a, a Ned rig over here in this corner and just slowly bounce it and crawl it off the bottom. And we'll see if we can get a bass to bite it. I don't care what I catch. As long as I get a fish, I'll be happy after not catching one in about a week. So, let's see what happens. Here we go. Three hours later. The huge Christmas tree farm. The next town over from where I live. Went fishing this morning. They weren't biting. Gonna go back out tomorrow. But now it's time to get a Jersey Joel family Christmas tree. This place is huge. They got so many different fields and acres and acres of trees. Stacy and Serenity and the kids are all the way up there, top of the hill. Let's pick a good one. We wanna get a big one, like seven foot, seven and a half foot. Let's see what we can find. A lot of Christmas trees here. Did you see one you like yet? You found one? Hope this thing's easy to cut down. Gonna test my lumberjack skills here. You sure it's seven foot? Yeah, this one. This one? This one. Hi, we're getting this one. Yeah? Yeah. We found the tree. Did a lot of walking. Right near the end of the road. Beautiful tree, nice and full. Now I gotta cut this thing down. Nice and tall. I'm going to cut this down. Hopefully it's not that hard. Alright, got my trough. Here we go. This is harder than it looks. You go double up school. Yeah. 
And here's the finished product. It took me a couple hours. Put all the lights on, put the ornaments, put the angel. You're afraid of Mrs. Santa Claus? Who is it? <laughs> he sees it moving. He's all freaked out. Yeah. It's moving. He's all scared. He's backing away. Chase, what's that? He's backing away. Two days later. Winter Wonderland. It's been snowing for the last four hours. It's gonna snow until this evening. I'm gonna try fishing, even though it's snowing out. See if they're biting. Haven't fished in a few days. It's been really, really cold. The temperature dropped big time. It was in the 20s last night. Some of the local ponds already have a thin layer of ice on them. That's how cold it's been lately. But luckily the rivers, where they have current, you know, soft water, you can still fish it. Not sure if they're going to be biting, but we're going to find out. I got spinners, I got night crawlers, I got little swim baits, I got everything. Let's try over here first. Just below the bridge, there's some good current and some nice little pools. So, it's a good spot. It's cold. It's snowing, but that's all right. I'll still fish despite the elements. All right, let's see if we can get one. All right, I'm gonna try a spinner first. Covers a lot of water. With the cloudy and snowy conditions, this gold panther martin should stand out. A lot of flash, a lot of vibration. Let's give it a shot. If they're not biting on the spinner, maybe I'll throw a night crawler out or a little swim bait or even a mini crankbait, we'll see. All right, guys. Winter Wonderland fishing. See if we can get a fish. Here we go. First cast. All right, nothing on the spinner after about 15 minutes. See if they want some night crawlers. Can't go wrong with live bait. Very natural. Let's give it a shot. Just gonna let it drift downstream, keep my finger on the line, and wait for a bite. It's a nice deep pool here, so. There's usually a lot of fish in here. Last time I was here, I caught a lot of species.
Hey guys, it is a few days later. I think it's December 15th today. It's just after sunrise, 27 degrees. It snowed again yesterday. It's been a very, very, very tough week for fishing. Been very cold, snow. We're getting another snowstorm tomorrow, big blizzard. Everything's all iced up. There's some ice on the edges here, but over here there's a little pipe and there's some current, so out near the middle, there's no ice. I'm gonna throw a spinner around, maybe a crankbait, and we'll see if I can get lucky and get a fish. When it's this cold, fish are very lethargic, very tough bite, and especially when everything's iced up, then you just can't fish. Only thing you can fish is the rivers and not much else. So let me get my pole and take a few casts. We'll see if we can get lucky and get a fish here this morning. Here we go. Gonna try a MEPS silver spinner first. And maybe I'll try a crankbait. At least there's some open water. There's some current here from the pipe. You see that? That's why it's open water here in the middle. Here we go, guys. First cast. All right, I walked all the way down by the docks. There's some more open water here on both sides. Come on, there's gotta be one hungry fish that wants this spinner. We'll see what happens over here. Here we go. Well guys, I didn't get anything this morning. It was just way too cold. The fish weren't biting. I gave it a couple hours. I tried every single side of that pond that I could with open water. Everything else was all iced up. Everything's gonna be frozen solid by the end of this week. But I have caught in fish in these conditions before. You know, it's hit or miss. You know, sometimes you gotta fish a spot that's not heavily pressured and then you can get some fish. So I have caught fish in these conditions before. I don't want to leave you guys empty handed without any fish in this video. So what I'm going to show you now is a little throwback. This is from in the very, very beginning stages of my YouTube channel. I was started my channel in the fall. This was in the winter. This was the end of November or early December 2017. It's about three years ago. It was very, very cold, 24 degrees. I fished a brand new spot that I have never fished before in the woods on the side of the road. It was very cold, but I tried some spinners and I had a great day, one of my best days ever fishing. Very cold, I caught a lot of fish. A lot of my subscribers have never seen this footage. Like I said, it was in the very, very beginning stages of my YouTube channel. Very exciting day of fishing, even though it was very cold. Fast and furious, I caught so many fish, I never thought I would catch that many fish when it was that cold out. So let me roll the footage, hope you guys enjoy it. Don't ask me why I'm out here in this cold weather trying to catch fish, but uh, this is the only chance I have to do this and try a new spot. And uh, you know, it's not gonna rain, the sun's out, it's just very cold. I'm gonna start casting the spinner and uh, we'll see if we can get something. Fish jumped out of the water at my spinner. I thought I was gonna have a snag. He jumped out of the water and hit my spinner. I lifted it up to the surface just so I wouldn't snag that stick over here. I couldn't believe that. I don't know what that was. If that was a bass or a pickerel. Got one, guys. Do I got one? Yeah, I got one. What is it? It's a bass. I got a bass. Look, guys. Whoa, he fell. That's all right. He ain't going nowhere. I'm up on the bank. Wow, nice little bass. Nice little bass. 
I got pricker bushes here. Hold on, guys. Let me grab them. I got him, guys. Wow, he got bit. Look, something bit him. Something took a chunk out of him. Look. I don't know if it was a turtle or something. I got a bass. First fish of the day. There's life in this uh, pond here. So, look at this. It said something uh, took a chunk out of him. Not sure what. Other than that, he's a healthy looking fish. And, uh, look at that, guys. First fish here. Out here fishing, freezing my butt off. And uh, within five minutes, I had a bass jump up my spinner like it was a top water, and I just got this uh, this largemouth here. But uh, he's freezing, and I uh, hope you guys can see. Let me uh, get him back, and I'll uh, we'll see if we can get some more. Right, guys? Nice fish. I'll see you later. Thanks for the fight. Up oh, there he goes. He's gone, guys. Another one, guys. Guys, this is a big one. It's right by the log. What is this? Guys, big fight. Big fight. Holy, it's a big pickerel. Holy moly. Guys, guys, look at this. He inhaled it. Fish number two, he swallowed it. Look at this pickerel, guys. Chain pickerel. He's a nice one. Wow. Fish number two. This pond is great. Look at this, guys. Pickerel. See if I have my pliers. Man, they are biting like crazy here. They don't, they don't care that it's freezing out. He is uh, 18 and a half inches, guys. 18 and a half inch pickerel, not bad. Let me get him back. I've had him out long enough. All right, buddy. Thanks for the fight. See you later, YouTube. He swam right off. Look how slimy he was. Wow. Good thing I had the glove. Swam right off. All right. Two fish. Five minutes. Here. I'm a little bit warmer. My adrenaline was going. I gotta get my spinner here. My spinner stuck on the uh, prickers here. There's a lot of prickers over here. A lot of weeds here, there's structure. This is an awesome little pond. Imagine having this in your backyard. Got one, guys. I got him. I cast it way out there in the back in between two sticks. I think this is a bass. He's fighting really good. What is this? Yep, it's another largemouth. Oh, it's a nice one. Not the same one. This one doesn't have any, any cuts on him. Nice. Fat little guy. Nice. Look at this, guys. Nice fat little bass. This is three fish. And how long have I been here now? A half hour? All right, guys. Let me uh, throw this guy back. Nice, nice little chunk, though. All right, buddy. I'll see you later, all right? Oh, there he goes. Got one, guys. Oh, it's another pickerel. He chased it in. Another nice pickerel. Look at this. He's a feisty guy. Let me get my glove. Another pickerel. Chased it right in. I saw him. Two bass and two pickerel. Look at the size of that head. Healthy looking fish. Get my little pliers out. I'm not using my bare hand near him. He's got a big head. He'll bite my finger. Got it. Got it out. This little handyman tool works pretty good. There he goes. Did a nose dive. He's gone. All right, that's number four. Number four. I've got another pricker bush here. Come on. All right. See if we can get number five. This is a great little pond. This is a great spot. I gotta try this in the summer when it's warm. Top water. It's probably amazing here.
Wow, I cast it way back there. Got one, guys. First cast all the way in the back there. I almost hit that stump. Which one is this? He's fighting pretty good, too. It's a bass. Look at this. It's a bass. Another largemouth, number three. Number three. Yep, that's three largemouth and uh, it two pickerel. Two pickerel or three? I lose track. I, what is this? this is number five. Yep, number five. Come here, buddy. Right on the top of the lip. There we go. Another largemouth. Look at that. Another little largemouth. That's three bass, two pickerel here. All right, buddy. Thanks for the uh, fight. I will uh, see you later, all right? He's gone. There he goes. All right. Let's keep on fishing. Got one, guys. Chased it in. Another pickerel. He got off. Look at him. There he goes. Did you see that, guys? He chased it in. I saw him. Got off. He wasn't hooked that good. He won't bite again. Wow. He was long. Hope you guys saw that. Got one, guys. Wow, it's a nice one. Guys, nice one. Pulling hard. I think it's a pickerel. Oh, he broke. He, he snapped my line. Guys, he snapped my 30-pound braid. He snapped it. Look, that was a giant. Unbelievable. That was a huge pickerel. Look at this. He snapped it, and I just retied. He snapped the line. Oh, there goes my MEP spinner. I just retied it, so it wasn't freighted or anything. He snapped my line. 30 pound braid, he snapped it. That was a pickerel. Oh, there goes my spinner in his mouth. He's gonna have to rust out and drop out. Got one, guys. Got him. This is a good fight. Not sure what this is. Another pickerel, a big one. Another big pickerel, guys. They're in here. Look at the size of these pickerel. Yep, he wasn't breaking off. Look at the size of this. First cast with the number three. Look at this pickerel, guys. Got leaves on them. My little pliers here. Huge pickerel. There's some giant pickerel in here. Nice pickerel, guys. Look at that face. Really nice pickerel. All right, let me get him back. Thanks for the fight, buddy. There he goes. Slime bucket. Look at this. He's gone. All right, just went to the car and warmed up for 10 minutes. My hands were freezing and uh, ready to go. What is that, six fish already now? Seven? Well, I, think I landed six and I lost two, or three. So, this number three spinner, perfect weight, MEPS. Let's try it again. Got one. Got one, guys. Fighting hard what this says. Here he comes. All the way in the back there. He's fighting really hard. 
Uh, it's a bass. It is a nice bass. Nice bass. All the way in the back, back here. A really nice bass. Look at that, guys. Spinner just came out. That is a nice largemouth, guys. That is that is a two pounder. Look at that. Really nice. That's what I was waiting for. What is that? Uh, four largemouth and five pickerel, I think. Real nice bass. Real nice largemouth. Real healthy fish, guys. All right, let me get him back. Beautiful. Freezing cold. Thanks for the fight, buddy. Appreciate it. See you later, all right? There he goes. Well, he's gone. I wasn't sure how this day was going to turn out, to be honest with you, um, with the weather, with uh, it being ice cold and real windy and everything else. And uh, it's one of the one of the better days I've had. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that throwback footage. You know, it was very, very cold that day. It was the end of November or the first week of December, three years ago, 2017, 24 degrees, very windy. I was freezing my butt off all day. It was a brand new pond in the woods on the side of the road that I passed by a few times before, never fished it. I finally fished it. I don't think anybody's ever fished that place. No pressure, which is why the fish were biting like crazy. You know, all day long, I caught 16 fish, bass and pickerel on MEP spinners. It was a great day of fishing in the cold winter temperatures and the winds, you know, so you can catch fish during these conditions. You know, it's a little bit challenging. It's tough. Sometimes they don't always bite, you know, but if you find a spot that's not pressured, you can definitely find and catch some fish as I just showed you in the throwback footage. We're getting a big snowstorm tomorrow. I'm glad I got the Christmas tree out of the way and everything. It was a good couple of weeks here with the family and fishing is going to be tough all winter long, but I'm still going to be grinding it out, fishing some rivers and soft water, and hopefully we can get some more fish all winter. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Have a good one, guys. Yeah.